right, getting the music stopped up for you guys, getting it over to the game screen. I will update the title so that we have the proper teams. Of course, it is 136 instead of play of the game champ. Going to be taking on Bfly. And of course, you guys want game noises instead of no noises. So we're going to get that turned on for you guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the ESL Go For Cop number four. This is the side of 136 taking on the side of Bfly. This is the round of 16, guys. I am Raptors OW. I'll be casting this game for you guys, and I appreciate so much for you tuning in. I appreciate your viewership so much. We're moving into the first point of Gibraltar. Again, the first point usually just immediately gets taken. And we've seen just earlier that this is a pretty common map nowadays. Teams are starting to switch to a lot more since this weekend. But this is where the action will start at the beginning on the first point. Of course, you have this is the actual checkpoint. You have this room over here going into the back of the stair room, which leads up into the observer room where Fisher just came from into the actual observer room or sorry into the actual server room and then this is the catwalk that the offense usually uses to burst into it we'll go ahead and get the introductions done for the teams we have casper gonna be picking up the mercy for the side of bfly shadowburn gonna be picking up their reaper happy thermi i keep it on hockey gonna be picking up the reinhardt we have fisher picking up the soldier outsider gonna be on a roadhog and that leaves Sinia on a lucio over for the side of the offense we're gonna be picking up the uh widowmaker uh, for tank 117, this is the side of 136. We have Clever going to be picking up the Genji. Zaurog, Zaurog, going to be picking up the Mercy. Syndrome going to be picking up the uh, Farah. So Shopper over here on a Lucio. And of course, that leaves K Kaj Zero going to be picking up the Winston. So we're going to go ahead and start the timer on time, this guy. So we're going to go ahead and follow out the Widowmaker. When you pick a Widowmaker, you need her to get picks. This is why you pick a Widowmaker. If she doesn't get the picks, then it's not going to work out. She did get peeked by the. Soldier, so soldier's no, Soldier knows the angle that she's going to be peeking and shouldn't be trying to peek it himself. We'll go ahead and stay on this for a second, guys. Again, this first pick from Widowmaker is absolutely critical. A little bit of action going out so far, but most of it is just a bit of spam. Nothing too exciting. Just a bit of conflict. Double-checking the stream real quick. And it looks like everything is good. If there's any issues with the stream, let me know, guys, and I will get it fixed as soon as possible so that the cast is as fluid as possible. Again, Tank going to be looking for this pick, but it doesn't look like much is going to happen. Hook goes out and it does miss, and a push out aggressively. Shadowburn going to be going on to the uh, attacking members, trying to clean up a few of them. He does help clean up the Lucio, and I was happy Thermia actually getting the kill. And over here we have Fisher spamming out, doing a fair bit of damage. And the offense just having a hard time getting their wits about them and getting into the actual push that they want to. Shadowburn, again, set up here into the top right. Going to be pushed off by that concussive shot but nothing else happening so much here we're going to switch over to outsider he's on that roadhog taking a shot from the widowmaker actually going down quite low getting down to 70 60 hp does end up healing up there's an earthshatter coming up in the offense doing a lot of damage but it just gets capitalized on better by the side of the defense four kills it's all going blue for the side of the fly as they seem to be running house over 136 right now not able to get the offense they want but clever standing up for his team getting a great deflect soloing out outsider and now he needs to get out of there alive so that they can continue this push effectively 96 percent on that dragon blade if he can get a dragon blade he might be able to do something here in the is going to go ahead and bust out the dragon blade slashing away but he goes down to great team focus coming from the side of b fly got to give them credit they do play very well as a team together looking for those team shots getting the uh, targets focused down together and doing that they do go ahead and stabilize here fisher going to be running up into the observatory room again using this window to give his team insight as to what's happening as you can see no matter where you're on this window you can basically see wherever the offense is setting up Give your team information. He's letting them know that the Genji's on this platform going to be harassing a wee bit. Hapithermia putting that shield out so that they have an additional surface area to go ahead and get the offense going. Or defense defending. I apologize. Over here for the offense. Pushing in pretty hard here. They're going to be going really hard here. We have Clever going in. But there's actually a Death Blossom coming up from Shadowburn. Doing a lot of damage. Shadowburn actually going to help clean up one, two, but three kills. There's a whole hog coming out as well. Clever with a great deflect. Going to be helping clean that up. But no, he ends up going down himself. There's a Resurrection coming out for most of the offense. Syndrome on this Reaper. We're going to follow him. But Shadowburn winning the duel right there. Now going to be looking for more kills. Flicking on to the Lucio. Doing a lot of damage for Lucio. Might be able to win this duel. 75 HP for Shadowburn. But no. Showstopper ends up going down to Shadowburn. And Shadowburn on this. Reaper once again for this point one Gibraltar. Just like when Cloud9 is clicking, Cloud9 is doing well. The critical to Cloud9's defense is always their sure for Reaper when they're playing it. So definitely gotta be giving credit to Shadowburn here as he's a critical member for this defense, and I personally think he's one of the most uh uh or most important aspects to their defense here. Is the best I guess the best way I want to put it. 
Reset here again. Offense going to be looking for a better look. They haven't been able to find a good one at all. Three minutes on the clock. Run so far and nowhere gotten. They've only gotten the first point and that's basically a freebie. And they're going to be forced to hold it if they can't get the second point. Shadowburn going to be stalling up the Genji's initiation as it's just too awkward for them to get anything done. We are going to be switching over to Syndrome as him and the Reinhardt are pushing under through. But Shadowburn immediately flanks in getting a pretty good Death Blossom. But does get taken out by Showstar. Perhaps Ethermia going to be taking out Zarawa. And now with those kills going out, multiple going to be following. Tinia picks up Showstopper. Happy Thermia going to help with Tinia picking up Keijiro. And now in the top, they actually have the Genji being taken out by Casper with that Mercy Pistol. Casper, your, fin your friends and fam in the chat will definitely be happy to see you getting a kill with that pistol. First one of the game. First one of today, I believe, from Casper. Not every day you get to see a Mercy getting a pistol kill. Fish are going to be looking for more kills here. As he are uh, more damage, really. He's not necessarily the kill mechanism. Soldier himself is not a finishing or a killing hero. We're going to go ahead and hold that analysis for a second. Shadow Blade or Dragon Blade going out. As well as the Soundbear are doing a lot here, giving Clever an opportunity to get onto Fisher. But now he's hunting down onto the Mercy. He needs to get her before the Resurrection goes off. And it doesn't look like he'll be able to. He does get Casper, though. Resurrection not going to go off, but multiple down on both sides. And it looks like this might just be a clean up here. As Happy Thermia is going to charge down Clever. He gets cleaned up. We're going to switch over here to Fisher as he's running back. We're going to actually be on Outsiders. He gets tried. He gets her shutter up, then charge. Okay, Jiro going to be taking him down. And it looks like the offense might be getting the look that they finally need. Syndrome and teammates on the payload pushing forward. As they might be able to actually cap this first point. And it looks like they are going to. B-Fly going to be giving it up here. They don't look like to be taking it. I take that back. Shadowburn going to be jumping out of the point. It does have a Wraith Form available, but dies critically during it. They do get the Resurrection at the middle at 0.64. And now Shadowburn's going to be ripping out the de uh, Death Blossom. Doing a lot of damage. Double kill so far for him. Outsider going to be getting another kill, but a great Resurrection coming up from Zarua. Picking up almost all of his teammates. And now the fight's going to matter a lot because this could be the point or whether or not the offense is going to have to reset. Shadowburn getting a kill as Clever was able to take out Outsider. But now with Happy Thermia as well taking out K0. So far the kill feed is going pretty even, but it's going in favor of the defense now as three kills have come out for the side of B-Fly. Shadowburn being the core crux of those kills as he's able to take out Clever. Three going to him specifically. Make it four as this Reaper play is absolutely critical and a pillar to the defense for B-Fly. Shadowburn, what a man. We'll be giving some love to Fisher over here as, of course, he's another chat favorite on the side of the DPS, doing a lot of damage for Shadowburn in the background, but Shadowburn on this Reaper has just been cleaning house kill after kill doing a lot one minute and 16 seconds remains we'll see if they can actually cap at the side of 136 fish are getting great peppering out doing a fair bit of damage now going to be focusing onto that Winston or Shatter doing a lot. Going to stun up a fair bit of the defense, but another or Shatter coming out from Happy Therbia. Going to stun up even more as they're able to get out quite a few. And there's half there's the sights coming out from Fisher. They look like they're pretty massive as he's able to get one, two, three, four kills, make it a quad kill. And he is definitely on fire as he's hunting more kills now. Going to be tracing on, tra tracking this Tracer, trying to finish her off and will actually take out Clever. And that's another cleaned up push from the side of the offense and B-Fly. Looking strong in the round of 16 and looking to move on into the quarterfinals in the best of three. Whereas over here for 136, they're not having the best offense that they would want. And they want to get something going. Clever staying on this Tracer, interestingly enough. He was the one on the Genji, so definitely a high mobility player himself. But we'll see what happens here. Side of 136 needed to do something. There's a death, death, death coming out. A die, die, die. Shadowburn going to be getting one, two kills with that. Happy Thermia help cleaning up the rest. And that should be the cleaned up uh, rest of the offense. But Zara was still alive. Zara was still alive. If he could get this resurrection off, it might give him another chance. It's a five man resurrection. We're going to go ahead and switch on to Clever here as he's the tracer. He's the one who needs to stay alive the longest, doing a lot of damage. But Outsider with the double kill. Shadowburn with another. A great pulse bomb. Going to try to do something, but Clever doesn't have rewind available. He's going to get cleaned up. Zara was respawning in the point. And with all of the attacking members cleaned up, 136 is going to get stuffed on the second point and we're not even going to need the time to beat B fly coming out incredibly strong in the round of 16 guys they looked like they might have been uh they might have lost to play of the game champ but then they came out incredibly strong on their defense and then now against 136 a team that they should be crushing a team that they should be dominating they are doing so and this is that resurrection that comes out of Zarawa. what a great mercy player surviving here getting this resurrection off and that's all you ever want to see from your mercy player is strong resurrections in those instances you can't really expect much more they're gonna die when they get the resurrection off of course good healing good amping is of course the mechanics and part of mercy but staying alive and getting those massive resurrections just does a lot and if shadowburn gets a legendary for that 60 yes he does definitely deserved Definitely deserve Shadowburn going absolutely off for his team, doing a lot, hitting on all cylinders. 
B fly only having to take the second point here, guys, to move on into the round of eight and into the quarterfinals. Again, guys, I appreciate your viewership so much. This is the ESL Go For Cup number four, round of 16. We still have the quarterfinals after this, the semifinals, and then this English stream will be having the third place decider going on during the finals of the mainstream. So unfortunately, the, 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 that'll be happening at the same time. But the VODs are all available on my YouTube. If you guys want to help spread the word about this tournament and uh, these casts, you can definitely let people know about the VODs on my YouTube, as well as let people know about my Twitter at RaptorsOW, and follow at ESL Overwatch for more information about the cup you guys can also type in exclamation point bracket exclamation point standings that will give you the bracket and standings information for the tournament respectively again thank you so much and i'm raptors if you guys are not sure as i don't have anything on the mainstream for casting again this is where all the actual take place is here what we've been seeing mainly is the server room setup there are two main ways to break the server room from the side of the attack there is the slow push slash siege. So you can either slow push into break here, which is where you, you poke right here with your Fera Genji. You have a good angle up here to poke into it if you can control this box. And then you hard push in with your Roadhog Reinhardt into this room, and then you siege through. The other way that's been recently done by Cloud9 is that if you push with a Fera and Genji or other heroes that can easily get up, Hanzo is another one that can do it. You push through this door, you get up onto this catwalk with those DPS, and then you can rain fire into the server room while your Winston and Reinhardt push up with the cart using the cart as a wall and a barrier and then you basically contain the server room right and you force them to come out onto the payload and the longer it takes the farther they have to run out onto the payload while they're taking shots from the Genji and Farah. But of course guys that is a little bit of a sneak peek of what I'll be talking about in Stratwatch. I was really actually excited when I saw Cloud9 pull that off. It was a really cool way of breaking the offense and I'm excited to see if we'll see more teams do that. But without further ado, we'll get into the actual game. So here we go. Fisher and team. Again, guys, they just need to cap the second point to go ahead and win B-Fly. We did update the titles and change them. Yes, we did. If B-Fly is able to take it, we'll not. That's why we are not running the stopwatch. We will not need it, as it is just purely a progression based at this point. Gonna go ahead and take their time. They do see the Bastion, or at least they should have seen the Bastion by now. They definitely should have heard it, as the Bastion did ring out a volley of fire. Go ahead and give you guys an overhead view, as this will go pretty quickly. Ponzo as well for the defense, as well as with the Soldier. Gonna be providing a fair bit of cover and fire. But that uh, Bastion are doing a lot of damage to be able to take out a hypothet Happy Thermia. But the cart is moving. Tinia, look at his cart dancing. Meanwhile, on the top left, we do see the kill feed going, or top right, kill feed going off tank with the double kill, but Outsider with a double. Fisher with another, and Tinia's pushed the cart basically to point, and he was unanswered. Now Tinia gonna be Popping back the Reinhardt, trading out. Cash gonna be able to take out Fisher, and that's pretty important. Gonna be using the amped up healing now, and now Outsider getting the hook on the Cash. If he takes him out, this will pretty much be the end of this push. Oh, but Showstopper! Showstopper! He gets a double kill, taking out Tinya and Casper, and now if he takes out Outsider, this should be pretty much a, a stalled up defense. He has the teleport available if he can get it off, but he's gonna get pinned up by that. Oh no, they end up losing the point, and that's GG. Banana Fly gonna be able to take it, and for a moment there, 136 had an opportunity, they had a chance, and on the back of Showstopper's great play, Happy Thermia with the teabag spam, and that is gonna be the game, guys. We do have the side of B Fly going ahead and taking out, and this man right here, Shadowburn, on his Reaper play, I gotta give him again the MVP today, he's been playing out of his mind. But next up, guys, will be the round of eight, will be the quarterfinals. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys all the information you need for the rest of today's cast. This cast is the community English cast. There is the mainstream going on right now at ESL underscore Overwatch on Twitch. <laughs> Shadowbird. I am doing the community English cast, guys, and you guys, uh, th this will be covering the matches that the mainstream is not for the round of eight and the round of uh, the semifinals as well as the third place decider. We'll be getting you guys that information as soon as possible. Again, you can check that out at ESL um, uh, or under ESL underscore Overwatch on Twitch, and you can follow them at ESL Overwatch watch on twitter type in exclamation point bracket and exclamation point standings for more information so you guys can uh know more about the tournament and get up to date uh with that as well as if you guys enjoy my casting or you have any suggestions please let me know in chat and you can just let me know on as well in twitter and follow me on twitter if you want to show support at raptors ow that's the best way for you guys to show support and of course if you guys want to go up and beyond uh, you guys can definitely subscribe to my youtube as i'll upload all the vods there and you guys can also find my video series Stratwatch there again guys i appreciate your viewership so much it is amazing that you guys are here i appreciate your patience we'll be getting you guys the next game as soon as possible again it will be the quarterfinal match i'm not sure exactly which one will be covering i do know that esl underscore overwatch will be covering the misfits match in the quarterfinals again guys thank you so much i will be updating the stream title we'll be kicking it to some music you guys are amazing you guys are beautiful let your friends know about the stream 
quarterfinals and semifinals coming up for the ESL Go For Cup EU number four.